So, hi Elson, hi Junior. Hi. Okay, so continuing on with our Manhunt Singapore alumni interview series, today in the Beam Artists office, we welcome Manhunt Singapore 2007 winner Elson Goh and his brother-in-law, Manhunt Singapore 2014 finalist Junior Goh. So, question to Elson. Long time no see, Elson. It's been seven years since you won Manhunt Singapore in 2007. Yes. What have you been up to since then? Uh, when I was taking part in Manhunt Singapore, I was in my school days. So, uh, in my university. So, right now, after my graduation, I've uh, moved on to, to work as a banker in a city co. So, I'm doing private, private wealth management. So, that's my role right now uh, as a career. Okay. Yeah. What else have you been doing hobby-wise and so on? Hobby-wise, I do go to the gym to maintain my fitness, my looks. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing. And of course, uh, spending most of my, of my, of my, of my time with, uh, with uh, this sister, which is okay. my wife. Uh, yes, and of course, since you, since you won my hand, you've got, gotten married. Yeah, correct. Yes, so that's that's good, important update for all our fans out there. I can hear all the hearts breaking. <laughs> yes. Have you kept in touch with any of your fellow finalists from back then? Uh, well, I think we have different goals, so I think we have probably lost contact uh, with most of them. Yeah, so we, we do have our different, different lives to go to. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. okay, so a question for Junior. So when did you and your sister find out that Elson was a Manhunt Singapore winner? I think ever since the first time my sis met him. Okay. Because um, my sis told us that uh, that she gets to know this guy from Manhunt. I so see. So after that, we were like, well, Manhunt, so it must be someone. So after that, uh, when we first met him, we were like, it is good. Okay, so it passed. Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, so have you and your sister ever teased him about being a male pageant winner? Well, actually, we are quite proud of it. Okay. Uh, because for ourselves, we feel that uh, in order to join a Manhunt, in order to join a male pageant, must be of a certain quality and not just looks. So you can be good looking, but it doesn't mean that you will win the competition. Okay, but have you ever teased him like, oh look, someone's staring at you? Of course he's staring. Of course the staring. You know the manhunt winner. No, have no, ever no. said something like that? Not so much. Okay. It's something that we're proud of. That's why I'm here this this year. Okay, great. Taking part in this competition. Great. Okay, now question for Elson. How do you feel having joined and won Manhunt Singapore has made an impact on your life? Has it changed you? Has it changed things for you? Has it given you opportunities? Uh, I think definitely. Manhunt has helped a lot. I think it has become a, a, a conversation with uh, my friends, as well as with colleagues. Even employers, when you go for interviews, they ask you about uh, Manhunt as well. So I think it's a good thing to start a conversation with people, or people might, might just ask you about it. It's something that people will be curious about. So yeah. employers or people or potential employees look at your CV and say, oh, man, huh? oh. Yeah, they'll be pretty curious about, about okay. it and they will ask you more about it. So would you say it's definitely something that employers will go, huh, oh, interesting, whether you won or, or even if you were just a, a contestant? They, they'll still... Yeah, it, it makes a difference. I think it definitely helps a lot in your, in your resume. But taking part as well, okay. I think it makes a big difference. Yeah. How, any other ways in which it's made an impact in your life? Has it made you more confident? Or yeah, definitely. Your... Yeah, definitely. It does help a lot. Yeah. Okay. Were you the one who encouraged Junior to join the competition? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> okay. So, how did you react when you found out he made it as a finalist? Um, I wasn't surprised to, to hear that. Okay. He's got the looks, he's got the height, I think he's got everything. Okay. <laughs> so, question for Junior. Yeah. Since becoming a finalist, have you gone to Elson for any advice? If so, what about? Of course, I forgot to give advice because okay. it was like the Manhunt 2.07 winner. Um, I went to him and because in the very beginning, right, I don't really know what to expect from the whole competition. And this whole competition drags all the way, starts all the way from uh, early March all the way to, to now and even is still ongoing right now. So along the way, there are many different phases. Usually I'll go to him and ask him like, what did he experience the last time when he joined Manhunt 2.07? and you will give me advice and tell me that I um, just have to be myself, take it easy, and everything will be good, yeah. So, question for Elson. Yeah. We're sure Junior has been sharing his experiences on the competition with you. The yeah. stories of, of hanging out with the guys and, and the mischief they get up to. So, how different was it from your year in the competition? I think it was uh, a bit different right now. Uh, I think um, the competition in fact starts 
like what you mentioned, from, from early March till, till September. September. So it's a, a, a period of six months. While during our time, it was pretty short. We only had photo shoots and rehearsals, preparation for the main event, and then that's, a, that's about it. So were there other little sponsors events along the way and so on? Oh, definitely. We, I think we have a Fabulous 10, we have a lab series that was uh, during our time as well. Yeah, but I think it's so much different right now. There's a lot more sponsors I've heard yeah. and a lot more events. I think it's a good exposure for the contestants to be in, to be exposed to all these events. Yeah. Okay. Could you share with us what were the rounds you had to go through? Were there multiple quarterfinals, semifinals? Uh, similarly, it's uh, only the semifinals and then finals. And uh, the, within the rounds, we have to wear uh, trunks at the same time, casual as well as formal. So that's mainly about it. So, so how many guys were initially announced? Uh, I think 12, if I remember correctly. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Right. What was the official photo shoot like back then? Mm, mainly indoor shoots, mm -hmm. mainly indoor. And uh, there wasn't really a big uh, outdoor shoots uh, for us. Yeah. Were there like themes and things like that? Uh, mainly would be not so much as what I've seen with, uh, with Junior, uh -huh. but I think uh, mainly, of course, uh, just uh, half naked shots, or if not, it would be uh, just formal shots. Yeah. Okay. So what sort of promotional events and sponsors events did you and your fellow finalists attend back then? Uh, back then, I don't remember. I don't think there is any uh, promotional events. Were there any workshops? Workshops, in fact, no. Okay. I think basically most of us were models uh, uh, among the contestants and then we had our own training. So that's, uh, I don't think there will be any workshops for us. Right. Tell us about the finals night and what prizes did you win? Uh, right, for the prizes wise, I got uh, Mr. Photo okay. as well as uh, the uh, the winner award. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I think it was a, a good experience that night because the uh, main thing is that you have to really smile to the judges mm -hmm. and then um, to really impress the judges. Okay. So I think that's our main focus. What kind of what, what sort of um, Physical prizes did you get? Were there watches? Were there vouchers? That sort of yeah, stuff? There were watches, uh, there were uh, cash prizes. Yeah. Um, do you remember where was it held? Um, I think it would be Suntech, if I'm correct. Sun okay. Yeah. Do you remember your QA question back then? Wow, well, that was. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember my uh -huh. QA question. Was it tough? Uh, I don't remember, but okay. I, I think it should be doable because uh, you just have to be yourself and just answer according to what you feel. Yeah. Okay. So, question for Junior. Yeah. In previous years, Star Search alumni such as Lena Ng, Florence Tan, and Felicia Chin have caught the media and public attention with their supposed resemblance to Michelle Yim, Ivy Lee, and Zoe Tay. So, there's been a bit of talk that you have a bit some resemblance to Desmond Tan, the leader of. Media Corp's current eight dukes, which includes Manhunt Singapore alumnus Shane Powell. What are your thoughts about this comparison? Um, I think that's really, really a very really talented guy, very good looking. Okay. So if someone says that uh, I look like him, I think it would be a great compliment to Okay. Do you have any aspirations to become an actor in Media Corp or elsewhere? Uh, actually, yeah, I do, because since young, uh, I like to watch uh, television. Usually at uh, seven o'clock, nine There will be drama series. So after school, I'll rush back, I'll sit down, and I'll be watching television. I'll be thinking, what if someday I have the chance to be uh, on television? Maybe so. And uh, as an actor, you can you get to experience the crazy kind of life because uh, maybe in this drama series, you are acting as a doctor. The next one, you're acting like a policeman. So it's a very interesting and very adventurous kind of job. Uh, that's why I would say if I have a chance, I would say I'd like to try being an actor. Okay. Channel 5 or Channel 8? Uh, channel 8 would be more... I would say I'll be more confident in Channel 8. So okay. do you have any idols on Channel 8? Uh, so far, I would say Li Nang Singh is like... Wow. Every time he appears, he'll look so good at his... Like, he's got the charisma and everything. And I think he's like the... The actor that everyone, everybody. The old fashioned classic face, yeah. right? Okay. So imagine you are a contestant on Star Search yeah. and you have 
one minute to introduce yourself in Mandarin and leave a lasting impression. What would you say? Do, do I have it now? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I have to get the camera. Yes. 大家好,我的名字叫吴志瑞,今年二十四岁,在南洋理工大学就读机械工程师。从小我就喜欢看电视机,也喜欢看电视机里面的那些演员,然后在不同的角色怎样扮演跟怎样发挥,所以有希望的